Praise be Jesus and Mary. On this 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time, the Mass readings focus on the theme of faith, its necessity, its power, its need to grow in our lives as Christians. In today's gospel passage from Luke chapter 17, the apostles, recognizing that their faith in our Lord was very weak, request of him, increase our faith. And to this our Lord replied, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. So even the tiniest bit of faith in Christ, the size of a tiny mustard seed, figuratively speaking, if you've seen a mustard seed, it's very small indeed. A tiny bit of faith can make, and it does make, all the difference in a person's life. It does enable a person to make contact with God in a very real and powerful way, and thereby receive special graces from Him, above all, to come to know and love Him, and then the grace to overcome what might be, or what certainly are, insurmountable obstacles without faith. The apostles needed more faith in order to overcome the countless difficulties and trials that they would have to face in carrying out Christ's command to them you know, to preach the gospel to all the nations. In spite of the opposition and the persecution, as you know, nearly all the apostles suffered greatly and died for the faith but we can easily imagine them throughout that struggle praying the same prayer, making the, that request again to our Lord, Lord, increase our faith. Like the apostles, we too are in need of more faith, a stronger, more solid faith, in order to overcome the numerous difficulties that we face today in following Christ in a world, in a society that is more and more pagan and secular, anti-faith, anti-Christ, and less and less Christian. And like the apostles, we too need to repeat in so many words, Lord, increase our faith, increase my faith. Do you want to know how to pray in a way that will greatly increase your faith? No doubt you do. There's a prayer that you can pray regularly that is very powerful and will help you to grow greatly in your faith. It's the prayer, you know it very well, of the Holy Rosary. And pray the Rosary daily that's what our Blessed Mother has insisted upon at Lourdes and Fatima and other approved Marian apparitions of recent times. The Rosary is a prayer of faith. It's a prayer that immerses us in the chief mysteries of our faith and a prayer that increases within us the virtue of supernatural faith, without which as the letter to the Hebrews informs us, it's impossible to please God. We can't please God without believing in Him to begin with, acknowledging Him, His presence, His reality. We've just begun the month of October, the month dedicated in a special way to the Rosary. In fact, tomorrow we celebrate the beautiful feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. Many saints assure us that there's no better or more powerful prayer after the holy sacrifice of the Mass that can strengthen our own faith than the prayer of the Rosary. Many saints, many popes, remember the year of faith back in the year 2013. It was a splendid year that Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI inaugurated for the needs of the Church 
undergoing at that time, and still is undergoing a crisis of faith. The faith of so many Catholics is very weak, almost non-existent. And the solution to the problem is an increase in this faith. Back in that year of faith, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI made special reference to the rosary as a prayer of faith, and he made this invitation. I would like to invite everyone to cherish the rosary during the year of faith. With the rosary, in fact, we allow ourselves to be guided by Mary, the model of faith, and meditating upon the mysteries of Christ. And day after day, we are helped to assimilate the gospel so that it can shape our lives. Therefore, in the wake of my predecessors, and in particular, blessed John Paul II, now a saint, who 10 years ago gave us his apostolic letter, Rosario Virginis Mariae, the Rosary of the Virgin Mary, I invite people to pray the Rosary individually, in the family, and in the community, placing themselves in the school of Mary, who leads us to Christ, the living center of our faith. The Rosary is a prayer of faith through and through, from beginning to end, at least it should be. We begin the Rosary, how? With that prayer of faith par excellence, the creed, renewing our faith, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, and all the principal truths of the Catholic faith. The other vocal prayers that we repeat in the rosary are the most important and beautiful prayers of our Catholic faith and express it. The Our Father, or Lord's Prayer, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be. The mysteries of the rosary themselves, all 20 of them, present to us the chief mysteries of our faith, the principal events in the lives of Jesus and Mary. So someone who knows the mysteries of the rosary very well knows the substance of the gospel very well. From the joyful mysteries, focusing on the mystery of the incarnation, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, God became man, really and truly. To the luminous mysteries, focusing on Christ's public ministry as the divine teacher and the light of the world. To the sorrowful mysteries, focusing on the mystery of the redemption, what saved us, Christ's saving passion and death on the cross, and giving meaning to suffering in life. It can be redemptive, salvific for us. And finally, to the glorious mysteries, focusing on the mystery of eternal life, the perfect and everlasting beatitude of heaven that awaits us should we but have faith in Christ and follow him during this life. So the rosary is indeed the summary of the whole gospel. As one person called it, the gospel on a string, a simple, beautiful, and sure way to come to know and love Christ in the company of Mary. Let us all renew our devotion and love for the rosary, this month in particular. It's a month of great graces that we don't want to um, you know, not take advantage of and let, just let us pass us by, but to really increase our love for this beautiful, powerful prayer, the prayer that has made many saints and will make us saints too, if we pray it, you know, as it is intended to be prayed. Not just with the lips, but with our mind, heart, and soul, to pray it daily, as Our Lady has, has asked us to, at least to try to pray it daily, and what we can pray, even if it's one decade, to pray it very well, pray it from the heart. And praying it that way, we'll end up praying the whole rosary, you know, sooner or later, because we'll want to pray it. We'll, we'll see and experience how efficacious this prayer is in our lives when we pray it with mind and heart and soul. So pray to this way, the rosary will burst, bolster our faith. And finally, there's no other prayer after the Holy Mass that has more intercessory power for our own needs 
and others' needs than the rosary. Our own needs, you know, lifting up our, our, our prayers of the rosary for our own particular needs and then the needs of others, our loved ones, those who ask us to pray for them, like we remember them in our, our rosaries. Other needs still, there's so many. We have long lists of things to pray for. You know, pray for the end to abortion. You know, today is Respect Life Sunday here in the U.S. To, uh, to pray for an end to abortion, perhaps in front of abortion clinics, to join others in that beautiful and necessary apostolate. You know, to end the culture of death and to be a part of a restoration of a culture of life in our country. And for the needs of the church, of course, again, we're, we're still undergoing a crisis of faith in the church. Pray for, you know, the uh, upcoming synod, you know, later this month, in a week or two or so, you know, that synod, the Pan-Amazonian synod, you know, a lot of controversy surrounding it. And we pray that there'll be good fruit from it, and it be not hijacked, as it were, you know, by those who want to inject in the church, you know, more error, confusion. And praying, of course, for the needs of the whole world. As Sister Lucia Fatima testifies, and with her words we conclude, the Most Holy Virgin in these last times in which we live has given new efficacy in the recitation of the Holy Rosary. There's no problem, I tell you, no matter how difficult it is, that we cannot solve by the prayer of the Holy Rosary. With the Holy Rosary, we will save ourselves, we will sanctify ourselves, we will console our Lord and obtain the salvation of many souls. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Amen.